All right, hey, algebra class. Um, I sort of discovered slash remembered a method that could be easier for you to write quadratic equations. So my plan was to show it this afternoon in our reteach session, but that's obviously not gonna happen with our snowless snow day. So um, what I want you to do is in your notes, just write out y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is our original quadratic. And I'm just preparing to solve for A, B, and C. So have everything I need, paper, a couple colorful pencils, coffee. After that, let's use this quadratic table as our example. So I'm given this table. Take a minute to copy it. Hope you can see it clearly. And I know that I need to find my first and second differences. And I also need to make sure I have my zero value. So let's see, purple or green. Um, all right, let's just use green, I'm gonna go wild. So 16 to two is minus 14. Difference between two and negative two, minus four. Difference between negative two and four is plus six. Four to 20 is plus 16. And then 20 to 46 is plus 26. Let's just get okay, another color, obviously. Difference be the second difference, so our difference between negative 14 and 4, or sorry, negative 4 is plus 10. Negative 4 to positive 6 is plus 10. 6 to 16 is plus 10, and 16 to 26 is plus 10. Yes, it's quadratic. So this works. Um, second thing you need to do. I'm gonna go back to that original sheet that was requesting our A, B, and C. Um, your C value is just your zero value. So I'm gonna put a little cloud around this. Zero, two. I already know that I can fill in that information in this sheet, so C equals two. To find A, A is one half of your second value. So whatever your second difference, whatever your second difference is, divide it by two and that will be A. So I'm gonna write in that A equals half of second difference or diff. Um, so one half of 10 or one half times 10 is five. So I know that A is five. A equals five. So now I have two of my values for my equation. I have A and C. My last step is to solve for B. So it says now that you have A and C, use any coordinate from your table to solve the equation for B. Um, I'll just choose something that I think is easy. So from my original table, some numbers that I think would be easy to work with would probably be either 0, 2 or 1, negative 2. I'm going to use that one. So over here, I'm going to use coordinate. one negative two and you can choose any value that you want i'm just using this and then i'm gonna from the information that i already have for my equation i'm just going to substitute five in for a and two in for c so i want to write out y equals five x squared plus bx because we don't know what b is yet plus c which is two so what i'm solving i'm going to substitute one this is my x value and that's my y value Substitute 1 in for x and negative 2 in for y. So we have negative 2 equals 5 times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus 2. Simplify first. Negative 2 equals, well, 1 squared is 1, so that's just 5, plus, and then b times 1. It's just b, so we can just write that, plus 2. So negative 2 equals 5 plus 2 is 7 plus b. Subtract 7 from both sides. Bring down your b. And we now know that b equals negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. b equals negative 9. So I can go back 
and substitute all of my values in for A, B, and C, we determine that A equals, what do we say, 5, B equals negative 9, and C equals 2. So our final equation would be Y equals 5X squared minus 9X plus 2. Okay, great. That's what we think it is, but definitely confirm that it works by using a value from the table. So I'm just going to use um, my zero value because that's the easiest information to plug in. So we're going to substitute 0, 2 into our equation. So it would be 2 equals, well, 5 times 0 squared minus 9 times 0 plus 2. So anything times 0 is 0, same here. So that would be 2 equals 2, and that is accurate. Okay. Um, what I want you guys to do is try... Oh, I'm sorry. So this would be our final equation. This is like if I asked you for the equation, you would give me this as your response. And that'd be perfect. Um, what I want you guys to do is try that same method given this table of values. So make sure you have a chance to copy that, attempt it, and I want you to send your responses as a picture through Remind Chat, and I'll check them. Um, and then any questions that you have, please send it through Remind Chat. Okay? Um, I hope that helps. Bye.